Hi, my name is Alicia and this is assignment number three for the virtual homeschool co-op. How do you use reading lists in your homeschool? And um, I create my own reading list. I um, Last year I did not. Years prior I did. Last year we used this resource right here called American Literature. And in the purple column is a list of the authors. And each author, there was a book by that author that the students were required to read. So let's just say if we had um, Moby Dick, we can choose the general track to work on or the honors track to work on. Each book is divided up into four week increments. So week one, there was an assignment. Week two, there was an assignment. The week three was assignment and so on and so forth but everything was four weeks they did research papers and projects within that time frame so everything was laid out for me I did not have to do a lot of leg work um, and create assignments and things like that now um, this year let's see my table is a little messy <laughs> so I'm having to shuffle some things around so this year, um, and years prior, I've used this book, the Big Book of Children's Reading List, 100 great ready-to-use book list for educators, librarians, parents, and children. I got this off of Amazon, and um, it gives you like all kinds of books to choose from for different ages and age groups. Um, I also used this book this year. Um, Black Books Galore, Great African American Children's Books. And this goes all the way up to like young adult, adult age um, that you can choose books. So it's really good. And on the inside of this particular book, they give you a summary of all the books they have listed in here. So I thought that was good. So you can get a good idea of what it's about before you check it out, before you purchase it um, for your child. Um, let's see. The next question was how many books? Well, this year, Kyla has maybe about 30, 30 books. And Myla, she has maybe close to 50. Um, I've mentioned before that my daughters, Myla and my daughter, Madison, are autistic, so they're reading books. Um, we do, um, they're not as long, I guess, so they can do more books versus Kyla's is a lot more longer. Like, she, like I said, last year she read Moby Dick. That was a really thick, long book. Um, so... Myla's and Maddie's are not as long so they can get in more books so their lists are a lot longer or a little bit longer than her book her book list also Kylo did a video called Kylo, Kylo's reading list and it's on my channel if you'd like to check it out I don't know how to um, link things yet so um, if I did I would but I'm, I don't know how to do that yet so but you can look and it'll go into detail about all the books she's reading right now the next question was, do you, how do you, how do they get the reading done? Well, I assign it and, um, and then I give them a certain time frame to work on the book. And it just depends. Sometimes we use this resource called Moving Beyond the Page to go along with our books. Um, I don't have it right here with me, do I, otherwise I would show it to you. But they're really good resources to, to go along with books that you may be reading. So if we're using a Moving Beyond the Page um, book to go along with the reading, I may give them a little longer to read the book. But usually the turnaround time is about a week and a half, maybe two weeks, um, because we're always reading. Um, we also do read-alouds and things like that in the classroom every day. I love to do that because it, it gets everybody together and I can do um, get feedback from everyone um, on what their thoughts are and it just brings us all together for some good conversation right now we're reading the old Willis place and that is a page turner 
So some days when it's time for us to stop, they're like, oh, can we read one more page? Can we read one more chapter? So that's kind of fun. Do you do rewards? I do. Um, when they read like every five, like every, like for Myla and Maddie, it's every five books that they read because like I said, they're not as long. For Kyla, it's every three. I may give them a $5 gift card to Starbucks because my girls love Starbucks. Or I may let them go pick out a new book from the bookstore. So it just depends um, on what it is um, that I feel like doing for that particular time. And that's how I reward them. And I think the last question was, do you quiz? Um, I don't quiz. What I do is I assign projects. Our homeschool is a project-based, research-based homeschool. So we do projects, projects after projects after projects after projects, and research after research after research. So I do a lot of that. So with the book, they may have a research project due or something, you know, along those lines. Um, so that's how I grade, um, you know, can decide, you know, if they really read the book or or if they understand or if they got a clear understanding of the reading and I think that was it so thank you guys for watching um, if you're not a part of the virtual homeschool co-op yet please join it's the virtual homeschool co-op dot com um, and you have information there about how to join but there's also a virtual homeschool co-op channel here on youtube and please join because each one teach one reach one we are all here to help each other thanks and i'll see you next time bye